Ever feel like understanding women is like cracking a code? You're not alone. Today on Stoic Visionaries, we're diving into the fascinating world of female psychology. But before we begin, let's ask ourselves a few simple questions. Ever wonder why women react differently to things than men? Do you struggle to read the signals women send? Feel like you're tiptoeing through an emotional minefield? And can Stoicism shed light on understanding women better? Stick around till the end as we will unlock the secrets together. Number one, the burden of beauty standards on women. Have you ever paused to contemplate the huge pressure women experience when it comes to their appearance? It's not just about looking beautiful. It's about achieving cultural expectations that frequently feel unattainable to achieve. From physical form to skin tone, women are assaulted with messages dictating what they should look like. But what's the real cost of this persistent search of perfection? It goes beyond skin deep, hurting women's self-esteem, relationships, and even their mental health. The continual stress about looks can lead to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt, casting a shadow over every part of their lives. In a world where beauty standards seem to reign supreme, it's time to cast a light on the darker side of this fixation. Let's study the significant influence of cultural pressures on women's well-being and work towards a more open and tolerant world. Number two, how society's expectations impact women's emotions. Let's dive into a thought-provoking topic, women and emotions. Have you ever wondered why women are generally perceived as more emotional than men? It's not just a stereotype. It's firmly established in societal expectations that begin in childhood. From an early age, girls are encouraged to express their feelings and exhibit empathy, while boys are trained to conceal emotions as a display of strength. This socialization leads to women being more alert to their emotions and expressing them openly. While emotional intelligence can be a wonderful advantage, it also comes with its drawbacks. Women may find themselves labeled as too emotional or irrational simply for expressing their feelings authentically. Moreover, the expectation for women to prioritize others' emotional needs might sometimes come at the expense of disregarding their well-being. Number three, sensitive souls. How societal pressures heighten women's sensitivity to criticism. Let's discuss a difficult topic, criticism and its influence on women. Have you ever noticed how criticism might hit differently for women? It's not only about handling feedback, it's about navigating a world packed with societal expectations and internalized demands. From a young age, girls are often encouraged to prioritize being kind, agreeable, and pleasing. These messages can make criticism feel like a personal attack on their own identity and worth. Imagine continually feeling that your value as a person is on trial with every critique. Moreover, women endure heightened scrutiny and judgment, especially in areas like appearance, ability, and behavior. This continual scrutiny can turn even the slightest criticism into a huge load, producing feelings of shame, self-doubt, and insecurity. Join us as we delve into the complexity of negotiating criticism in a world where women are pushed to unattainable standards. Let's shed attention on the invisible weight borne by women and examine methods to promote a culture of positive criticism and empowerment. Number four, navigating boundaries, the struggle of asserting needs. Let's talk about boundaries, those invisible lines that determine our personal space, demands, and restrictions. Setting boundaries is vital for successful relationships and maintaining our mental and emotional well-being. But for many women, asserting limits can feel like an uphill battle. Why is that? Well, societal expectations and gender conventions typically dictate that women should be flexible, nurturing, and self-sacrificing. From a young age, girls are taught to prioritize others' demands above their own, frequently at the price of their boundaries. As a result, many women deal with feelings of guilt or selfishness when expressing their needs or saying no to demands. The dread of being viewed as unpleasant or unfriendly can loom big making it tough to set boundaries even when they're being broken. This reluctance to set boundaries can take a toll, leading to overextension, both in time and energy, to accommodate others. The result? Feelings of bitterness, fatigue, and burnout, as we delve into the difficulties of boundary setting for women. 
Let's deconstruct the societal forces that make it tough and discuss ways for reclaiming personnel space and creating healthy relationships. Number five, redefining success. Breaking free from unrealistic standards. Let's talk about the quest of excellence, a journey many women go on across all parts of life, from employment to relationships and personal growth. While having goals and objectives is good, the pressure to perform can sometimes lead to the establishment of impossibly high expectations. Why is this concerning? Well, when women establish unrealistic expectations for themselves, it can take a toll on their mental health and overall well-being. The fear of failure or criticism looms large, fueling a tireless pursuit of excellence in every activity. This persistent quest for greatness often results in chronic tension, worry, and feelings of inadequacy. The pressure to measure up to cultural expectations or compare oneself to others simply adds fuel to the fire, producing a sense of unhappiness and self-doubt. As we delve into the challenges of establishing high standards and explore healthier alternatives to measuring success, let's challenge the notion of perfection and adopt a more balanced approach that promotes well-being over unrealistic ambitions. Number six, embracing imperfection, cultivating self-compassion. Let's deconstruct the notion of being too hard on oneself, a difficulty many women experience within the ceaseless quest of perfection. From a tender age, Societal expectations bombard girls with subtle or overt messages about the significance of reaching flawlessness in every element of life. But here's the reality check. Aiming for impossible objectives just produces a harsh inner critic who tirelessly assesses every accomplishment and appearance against unreasonable standards. This self-critical mindset takes a toll, eroding its self-esteem and confidence and stoking feelings of inadequacy and imposter syndrome. The dread of failure looms large, generating an insidious drive to continuously measure up, even at the sacrifice of well-being. The result? Chronic stress, burnout, and a range of mental health concerns. So, let's dispute the narrative of perfection and embrace imperfection as part of the human experience. Join us as we explore the power of self-compassion and learn to celebrate our shortcomings as wonderful reminders of our humanity. Number seven, navigating decision-making, unique challenges women face. In the sophisticated process of decision-making, individuals must carefully analyze possibilities, consider implications, and commit to a course of action. While occasional uncertainty is a common experience, women often meet particular barriers that limit boldness and definite action. Gender norms and socialization play a significant part in developing women's decision-making styles, with girls typically trained to favor harmony and consensus, building over individual assertiveness and autonomy from an early age. As a consequence, women may struggle to articulate their preferences, make independent choices, and take risks. Moreover, cultural stereotypes depicting women as emotionally volatile or irrational can diminish their confidence in decision-making abilities. Consequently, women may find themselves second-guessing their choices, seeking affirmation from others, or avoiding decision-making entirely. This unwillingness to act autonomously can limit personal growth, assertiveness, and autonomy, continuing a loop that hampers their capacity to manage life's decisions confidently. Number eight, navigate the maze challenges women encounter in decision-making and empathy. In the complicated tapestry of human connection, women sometimes find themselves confronting unique barriers, notably in the fields of decision-making and empathy. Let's look deeper into these challenges. Indecisiveness. While decision-making is a universal human experience, women may meet specific impediments. Gender norms often train women to favor peace and compromise, often at the expense of assertiveness and autonomy. Consequently, Women may deal with asserting their preferences, making independent choices, and embracing risks. The conventional image of women's emotional volatility further undermines their confidence, forcing them to second-guess themselves and seek external validation, impeding personal growth and autonomy. Overthinking, coping with uncertainty, stress, or worry. Women may resort to rumination and over-analysis, while critical contemplation is necessary, 
Excessive rumination can produce cognitive distortions and emotional suffering. Societal expectations regarding women's emotional expressiveness may intensify this tendency, encouraging them to concentrate on interpersonal dynamics and perceived slights. Chronic overthinking can disturb focus, sleep, and overall well-being, worsening anxiety, depression, and stress-related conditions. Empathy. Women are generally raised to be compassionate and emotionally responsive to others' needs, generating strong, empathetic inclinations. However, excessive emotional absorption can lead to compassion fatigue and boundary violations. The expectation for women to emphasize caregiving tasks and emotional labor further strains their emotional resources, potentially resulting in empathetic distress, burnout, and lower well-being. Recognizing the need of empathy while advocating for self-care routines and boundary-setting tactics is vital for sustaining emotional resilience and balance. In conclusion, as we journeyed through the complexities of women's experiences, we've uncovered a myriad of challenges deeply ingrained in societal structures and cultural expectations. From the burdens of beauty standards to the struggles of asserting boundaries, from the pressures of perfection to the intricacies of decision-making and empathy, each aspect reflects a broader narrative of inequality and injustice. Yet, amidst these challenges lies a testament to the resilience, strength, and untapped potential of women. By fostering understanding, empathy, and equality, we can dismantle the barriers that hinder progress and create a world where individuals, regardless of gender, can flourish. Thank you for embarking on this crucial conversation with us. Your engagement is vital in driving positive change. If you found this discussion enlightening, don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content and practical tips. Together, let's continue to deconstruct obstacles, challenge preconceptions, and pave the way for a more inclusive and empowering future. Join us in shaping a world where everyone has the opportunity to thrive. Subscribe now and let's journey forward together.